Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In this video we are going to review the Crow Panel which is an e-paper display based on the ESP32S3 made by Alacro and we will take a look at the 4.2 inch black and white module. We will look at the built-in demos when you plug in the screen which includes a display of images and a scenario where you could use the display. Then we will talk about the hardware, the support and how to set this up so that you can use this in your future project. So let's go look at the demo code when you plug this in. When we plug in the screen it will show the Crow Panel logo, it will show a simple demo here and it will show some information about the screen and then it will go to the main menu. So here we just have a description of the screen which just gives the product description. So um, this is a bit boring let's just go back to the home menu and we go look at the images that is available on the screen so it comes with this button here on the side that you can use to go select the different menu and we'll see here we have a one for menu and one to press exit and here we have the boot and reset and we can also plug in a battery here and a tf so for a memory card here so if we click here on images it will then go inside the image demo and the nice thing about this screen is you can see the refresh time is very quick so if I go there almost immediately okay so let's go back to the menu take some bit of time but not too bad and if we go here to scenario we click here and here's a scenario uploaded here which is a lamp control to control the lights in your home Another nice thing about this screen is we do have access to all the other pins that's not being used. So if we wanted to plug in, let's say, different sensors, or we wanted to add more buttons or added functionality, we can then use these pins here. Now, Alacro has made tutorials on how to set this up, and they also show the code examples. So if you want to go look at those tutorials, you can. It is using an AI voice, so it is a bit difficult to listen to. But I'm going to show you in short how to set it up and then we can look at the, some of the demo code together. The first thing we will need is the Arduino IDE. You can install the new Arduino IDE, the 2.34, but since I'm living in China and I have a bit of an issue with the VPN, I will have to go install the legacy IDE 1.8.x. And the reason for this is that the newer version doesn't allow me to download libraries, but this one works. Once you have the Arduino IDE running, Click here on Tools, go to Board and select Board Manager. And then here, just wait a bit so that it will download the index. And then here we want to search ESP32. And then here we want to install this ESP32 by Espresso System. And we're going to install 3.0.5. And then we will click Install. And this might take some while. So I'll let this download and then I will get back to you. Once it is installed, you can now click close and then we will go to tools, we go to our board, we will go to ESP32 Arduino and then we will go to ESP32 S3 dev module and we will click this one. Then we will click on tools again and we will go to partition scheme and we will click here on huge app. Then click on tools again, go to PSRAM and select OPI PSRAM and then finally just make sure that you select the correct communication port. Now, since I only have this plugged in, I only have one port here, communication 4. Now that the screen is set up, we can go back to Alacro's website and we can go download the Arduino code for examples. Here is all our examples and the one I want to focus on first is partial refresh. That will allow us to put an image on the screen. So I'm going to double click on this one and open this Arduino file. And now we have this file. Now there's a lot of files here and don't get overwhelmed. I'm going to show you how to, can we change this image to display anything else. The first thing you need to do is go to Inkscape.org and then download Inkscape and install it on your computer. Once you have Inkscape open, you want to click on file, go to document properties. And here we want to go set the pixels of our screen, which will be 400 by 300. And then we can just hit close. And now here we have the screen. And now we can go put in our image here. 
So go find a cool image you want to display. Now I found this Pokemon image and we can see it's too big for the canvas. So I'll press control and scale this down and then make sure it fits here on the screen, something like this. Now, all we need to do is click on file and we go to export and we want to go export this as a PNG and select the place that you want to export this. I'm going to export this to my desktop and let's just call this one Pokemon and we will press save and press export. Now we will go to this website image to CPP, which I will put the link in the description. Now go choose your file. And here I have my Pokemon.png. Now we have our canvas is set to 400 by 300. And then here we can see the preview. Now this does not look so well, so we can go and change this a little bit here. So I'm going to maybe increase the brightness and then have a look. Yep, this looks a lot better. So let's maybe increase it. I think this is fine for now. So all we need to do now is go down here and we leave everything as default and we'll click here generate code and then you can press here control a and copy all this code now go to this last one here that says pick scenario we'll press control a and we'll paste that new code and we can go delete this bottom part now if we go up here you're going to want to go copy this epd bitmap pokemon and press control c now go back to 4.2 partial refresh and here we have this G image one. We'll go paste this name of that we just copied. And here we want to make sure this is 400 by 300. And then we can see here, it will display the image. There will be some sleep, there will be a delay and then it will clear the image. So I don't want to clear the image. So I'm just going to comment out this code and let's just see, does it work? I'm going to click on verify. So it will compile the sketch and let's see, do we get any errors? It seems like everything is good. So let's then click here on upload and see what do we get. Now uploading this code, we got this image and this is not what we wanted. We see the background is black. So let's make sure the background is white and that the lines will then be black. So here at show picture, just change this white to black and then let's go upload this again. So it's uploading now. So there we flashed a new image and it should show the image now. And this time we have a white background success. So we only have now scratched the surface of the screen. We know how to display an image, but there's a lot of other examples as well. There's examples that show you how to check the GPIO pins and also how to partially refresh a part of the screen if you wanted to build something like a clock. Now I'm not going to go in detail with those examples. I am planning on building a project in the future. So make sure to subscribe not to miss out on that. I think I'm going to stop the video here and I hope you have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.